This is the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, said Yahweh Bashem Yashai, power. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yashai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I want to say peace, mercy, and blessings to the hopeful elect. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists and he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. Okay? And we are the Hebrew Israelites. There's 12 tribes that make up the Israelites. Today, we're being so called uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Latin Hispanics, uh, and uh, various other bywords. Okay? And um, so I want to play a video, right? And uh, in, in this video, you know, this, this young woman, she pretty much has a vision of what's to come in the near future. And we're already halfway through the year of 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. You know, and uh, from watching the video, I've seen it a couple of times. Everything that she had seen in her dream, it was it was an actual vision. Now, we don't know the day or the hour, you know, under the father notes. But we do know that, that a lot of things, you know, well... I'll play the video, and as you can, uh, and I'll bring out the precepts to prove it. But a lot of things that you bring out from her dream is in the scriptures, right? Okay, this is weird, but I gotta get it off my mind. So I had a dream a couple of days ago that the U.S. was like on lockdown. Right. Now we know what happened during the whole 2020, the 19 thing, the scam demic. But guess what? That was just a test run. From what's really from what's really coming okay you know because i speak as a man but you know they could very well potentially put this place in another down lock you know and i gotta speak in code because they'll cut the video they'll take the channel down they'll put the whole country in down lock again okay and they could start administering that uh rice device that device that's the size of a grain of rice all right and you need to use it to buy or sell this, these are the things that's coming and under governmental control and we also had these like chips in our wrist that were used to like track us and see what we did on a daily basis and also for us to like go in and out of working yep. so they had so the country was in lockdown right there's work camps and there's rice devices that's in people's hands foreheads wherever you get it for tracking for buying and selling, all right? Is that not what the scriptures say? That's exactly what the scriptures say. Let's get that in Rev 13. Let's get Rev 13. Let me see what that says in the GNT. It's Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. The beast forced all the people, okay? Now, just dealing with the beast. Now, the whore is Babylon the Great. That's America. That's the whore. And it's a whore that's riding upon the beast. The beast is NATO and the EU. Okay? So the beast is going to give people a mark. You know, if any beast attacks you, lion, tiger, bear, it could potentially kill you. Okay? But it's going to leave a mark. So it's a physical thing. It's not, it's not a spiritual thing. Okay? The beast forced all the people, small and great, rich and poor, slave and free, to have a mark placed on their right hands or on their foreheads, okay? No one could buy or sell without this mark. That is the beast name or the number that stands for the name, okay? So there will be no buying or selling without this. <clears throat> and this is what's to come in the near future, okay? And uh, we're very close to that. So I'll read this again. The beast force all the people. So it's not just, you know, like if you're in a, position of Jeff Bezos, you got money to buy this device. No. Small and great. All right, when you go into these words in the blue letter Bible, you know which why not? You know. It's so Revelation thirteen and sixteen. So let's look up the words. Let's look up some words here. Oh they must have changed this. Small, the word that's micros. 
Strong's G, 3398, Mekras. Mekras. As you can see, number three of age, less by birth, younger. So infants, babies, toddlers, children. Okay, I'm not really pushing that. You know, just in case your child get lost. You know, these whole uh, LGBTQ community and all that bullshit so that they can track your children, so that you can track your children. And it shows you, uh, there's a show on Netflix called Black Mirror. And there's an episode of that show called Archangel. Okay. Let me see. Yep. This episode of uh, Black Mirror called Archangel, right? Archangel is the second episode, a second episode of the fourth series of the British science fiction anthology series Black Mirror, written by series creator showrunner Charlie Brooker and directed by Jodie Foster. It premiered on Netflix on December 29th, 2017. Along with the rest of Series 4 and episode, the single mother Marie enrolls her daughter Sarah in a trial of Archangel, an implanted technology which allows Marie to track Sarah's location. Current vision and hearing and automatically censors distressing material. So this is how it's going to be marketed to children so that you can make sure your children are safe. You can check on your children. You can see when they're in distress, when they need you. You see, microbes, small. Now, look at the word great. Megas. Strong's G, 3173. Megas. Megas. Number three, as you can see, of age, the elder. Four, statue and age, great. Oh, we got to give grandpa the rice device. They have Alzheimer's. You see, and they're going to be able to use the technology to do miracles as well. You know, people with Alzheimer's, that'll disappear. The blind will be able to see the deaf talk, things of that nature. Okay. And uh, rich and poor, right? Well, you, uh, you know, on the side of a, uh, a throughway, you know, with a sign. Okay. Free and bond, whether you can wake up, you know, drive to work, catch Uber work, catch Uber home, whatever case it may be, you know, you have a couple of days off and it's back to slavery. Already you're bond, you're in prison to receive a M-A-R-K in their right hand or in their forehead. So this is what she's talking about. Okay. And of course she doesn't realize it. You know, but a lot of people who get dreams like this, <clears throat> they don't really understand them. Some may do, some may do understand. Some may be into the scriptures, you know, well, you have brothers that you know, wives, children have, even brothers have dreams about this. But a lot of people that have these visions, you know, the Lord puts it on his spirit to put these things out so that we, with, with, the, with who, you know, we, which do have the true understanding, can then break it down and feed the sheep, right? Revelation 13 to 16, it causes all, both small and great, which and poor, for and bond, to receive an M-A-R-K in their right hand or in their foreheads, 17, and that no man might buy or sell, so there will be no buying or selling, save he that had the M-A-R-K, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So, you won't be doing nothing. Okay? You ain't gonna be able to buy or sell. It's gonna be total control. Total control. This is what they want. Read it again. And that no man or woman, obviously it's a woman having a dream, talking about a labor camp, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, so of course, I'm pretty sure you may have seen this video. I'm just going to rewind it so you can watch it as well with me. Okay, this is weird, but I got to get it off my mind. So I had a dream a couple days ago that the U.S. was like on lockdown and under governmental control. And we also had these like chips in our wrist that were used to like track us and see what we did on a daily basis. And also for us to like go in and out of working. And in the dream, it was me and my child like standing there in line behind all of these people. And all of us were like walking up to the kiosks and like going boop, scan our wrist 
um to go into like labor basically so i don't know i guess it was like a labor camp that we were set up in so that's what esau is going to do you know i can see esau establishing labor camps for people you know he's going to funnel people to him through fear you know because there's going to be a famine out here which is orchestrated which hey yahweh shy you know prophesied anyway there will be famine pestilence so he's going to use the fear tactics to funnel people to these labor camps and they're going to have to work for food shelter raiment and drink okay it's not going to be a good quality food it's going to be genetically modified organisms that's killing you a lot of pork a lot of unclean foods you know this is what's coming man when it says in ecclesiastes those that look out the windows will be darkened there's no future here you know your kids are not going to college they're going to a, a fema camp or a labor camp okay but it was just very very odd so I don't know. I don't know. I'm just documenting that I had that dream because, I don't know, God always talked to me in dreams and showed me things. I'm not going to say that this is going to happen or whatever, but I do and have been dreaming for a while. It's yeah, but you know what? We're, we are going to let you know what's going to happen because that's what the prophets do. You know? What's that in Ezekiel? Actually, they're both in Ezekiel. Both of the scriptures I'm looking for was Ezekiel chapter 2. And verse 9, And when I looked, behold, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein, still with the Holy Bible, right? And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein, lamentations, destruction, all right, uh, death, loss of children, pestilence, okay? And mourning, people mourning over loss, over lost ones, all right? It says in the Ecclesiastes and the Apocrypha that the wives shall mourn having no husbands, okay, having no bridegroom. And whoa, World War Three, the second coming of Yahweh Shai, civil war, which he's going to go into. So these things are, are in the scriptures, man. It's the prophet's job to let you know that, yeah, it's going to happen. Even though it's scary, you might not want it to happen, but we need these things. Like Yahweh Shai said in Mark, such things must needs be so that we can get the kingdom. All right, Ezekiel 34 and verse 40, 30. Ezekiel 34 and 30. Thus shall they know that I, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, that power and with them. And, excuse me, that's not it. It's 33 in the last verse. That's what it's not 34. Ezekiel 33 and, uh, yep, Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this coming to pass, right, when the civil war down locks, the ushering in of the rice device, the famine of the word, okay, when when this coming to pass, lo, it will come, right? Just like Habakkuk said, the Terry, wait for it. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them, right? Because it's, it's going to happen. And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them, you know? So they're going to know. As well as my son, that we are gonna have some type of like civil war. In this civil war, okay. April twelfth, they just came out a movie this year titled "What the Civil War." Civil War movie, twenty twenty four, hour forty nine minutes action. Okay, now why would they release a movie like this? Because art imitates life, and it's and it's they have to show you, or they have to tell you what's coming. Okay, and a lot of their uh, subliminal messages and programming is done through what? Television, movies. Okay, scriptures talks about civil war. This is Isaiah 19 and from the Good News Translation. We'll get right to the point. Verse 2, the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai says, I will stir up civil war in Egypt. In modern day Egypt is America. Egypt is what? The house of bondage. And turn brother against brother and neighbor against neighbor. Rival cities will fight each other and rival kings will struggle for power. That's what's getting ready to happen here. Okay. This country um, and also some type of like stage of a world war or I don't know. Something, basically something where it's going to be us versus the Chinese. And there I... Right now, Moab, the Chinese, China, they're getting ready to invade Taiwan. Right? While America has its hands full in the, with the Middle East and what the FJs are doing to the Palestinians, the so-called Palestinians, you know. So 
the U.S. military is stressed thin. Okay, it's watered down, it's weak, it's effeminized, it's emasculated, it's a lot of alphabet people in there. There's no way the U.S. is going to win another war. Okay? Very weird. Personally, I try not to get ripped up in the scary side of things, but... See, the scary side of things. <laughs> Hey, but it's written there in lamentation, mourning, and woe. It's going to happen, you know? No, I did have a dream, and I just want to let y'all know. Just prepare. Have your stuff, like your kits, medical kits and stuff like that. And for all the people that um, follow me for, like, labor. The only way to prepare is to prepare spiritually, man. Okay? Seek Yahweh Hashem Yahshai while he may be found. Repent of, your, repent of your sins. Turn away from your sins and do not do them anymore. Okay, keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Now, we do not beat down our people with the law, but neither do we make void the law either. We do the best we can in this captivity. Okay? You know, we keep the Sabbath to the best of our ability. We stay away from unclean foods. We're not out here conforming to, conforming to this world. Okay? You shouldn't, you know, if you're a man, you shouldn't be messing with the next man's girlfriend, wife, whatever it may be. If you're a woman, if you have a man, husband, you shouldn't be looking at another man. That's adultery. Okay? A lot of sins is, is, you know, America gives you the idea that you have a license to sin. Really, you got to pay for that. Okay? A lot of people are going to pay for it with starvation, uh, nuclear destruction, um, being trampled down, right? Being torn apart by wild beasts, newly created creatures. Okay? Yahweh Bashem is going to be a real creative. It says a time like no other, right? This is Matthew 24 and uh, 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since such as was such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no nor ever shall be. And that's the times that we're coming into. Okay. When delivery content in the event of an emergency, I am gonna share like stuff that pregnant people should have in the event in the event, excuse me, of an emergency. But anyway, I just want to tell y'all about the weird dream I had. I'm not saying that it's going to happen, but you can't ever be too safe. Yeah, spiritual. She did this just saw a video with her head covered, too. You know, it's everything is spiritual, man. Okay, everything is it's all spiritual, right? But with that, you know, repent. The kingdom of heaven is nigh. I pray this has been edifying. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shemiel Shai. Shalom to the elect.